Never be discouraged. Never hold back. Give everything you got. Fall forward. Holding on to your dream and staying focused is really important. If I could come from a council estate uh, in the middle of Stratford Avon and live in 17 houses before I was 16 uh, and win three Michelin stars, uh, anybody wants to come in and copy or use me as inspiration, then, you know, yeah, I'm the real deal. You know, in the beginning, we went to every single label and every single label shut their door on us. Um, the, the genius thing that we did was we didn't give up. We didn't say, because these guys, you know, we use that what do they know approach, you know. We, we didn't give up at that point. You know, when I went to film school, everybody said, well, you're nuts. What are you going to film school for? You know, you're only, there's no, you, nobody from a film school had ever gotten a job in the film business. It just had never happened. So you were just doomed to be a ticket taker at Disneyland. So they were like, why would you do that? You know, why don't you take a major that you can actually get a job at? But once I fell in love with it, there was no going back, even though I had absolutely no chance of making it in the film business. So whatever you feel in your heart and in your gut, you should follow that. Follow that. And then if that changes one day, that's fine too. Then you follow that. But you're the only one who knows. Nobody else. You can't let anyone tell you what you know your best is. You know what your best is. And I work at it. You know, you can have whatever you want. It just takes work. I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. Nobody works harder than me inside the octagon, outside the octagon. I am a workhorse. Work your butt off. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. I never wanted to lose a competition or lose an election because I didn't work hard enough. I always believed leaving no stone unturned. Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count my sit-ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. To become an entrepreneur is not easy. Mm -hmm. and, um, and a lot of people who try to become entrepreneurs, they fail a, a, along the way. Uh, but good ones pick themselves up and they try again, they try again until they succeed. If they can do it, I can do it. And that's the mentality. If somebody else can do it, you can do it. And I said to myself, I will do it and I will do it better. That's the mentality. Don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail. Just the fact that I'm willing to fail is an inspiration. People are so scared to lose that they don't even try. Like one thing that people can't say is they can't say, I'm not trying. I'm not trying my hardest and I'm not trying to do it the best way that I know how with what little information I get. Don't give up. You will fail a thousand times, but then you'll succeed. And most people like to give up after they fail because that's when it feels like that's when you're supposed to give up. Like, I, I tried, I failed, time to quit. I totally disagree. Failure really happens when you've decided that you no longer want to pursue that dream. Like, that's the moment of failure. That's the point when you turn the corner from on your way to success to uh, failing. I've often met people who, who um, are t terrified, you know, in a straitjacket of their own making because they'd rather do anything than, than fail. They don't want to try for fear of failing. Well, that's the rock bottom thing. Rock bottom wasn't fun at all. I'm not going to romanticize rock bottom, but it was liberating. Liber what did I have to lose? I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Because the 1,001st was the light bulb. I wanted as bad as I wanted to breathe. 
and even failure wasn't enough to make me quit. 